Uh, Brooke, so give me a bit of a lay of the land where you are now and what things are feeling like just 53 minutes now before expected landfall. Yeah, well, I don't know if you can see it on camera, Ashley, but man, we are feeling these wind gusts and the rain here in Tallahassee really, really start to pick up as this now category four hurricane is about 100 miles away from Tallahassee. As we zoom in on these lights over here, too, you can really see the rain starting to pick up. Uh, the wind here in Tallahassee is going to be the major storyline. It is the major concern as the eye of this Category 4 hurricane is expected to pass either right over Tallahassee or very nearby it. We have power for now, but officials have told people living here in Tallahassee do not get used to that. We are expecting to feel wind gusts of about 130 miles per hour. And Ashley, you were talking about all of those big oak trees all over the city of Tallahassee. Those are going to be a real concern as this storm pushes through, potentially taking down homes or power lines. So people here in Tallahassee have been told to expect widespread power outages and be prepared to be without power for at least a few days. Ashley. So, Brooke, I can see that you're, you know, just starting to, to feel some of the, um, you know, the rain. And so often people think that if they're not going to be within the path, they're out of the, you know, they're in the clear. But the truth is most people die from flooding. They don't die from lightning. They don't die from wind. They die from flooding. And this storm surge um, has a massive swath that it's likely to hit. Can you explain a little bit about the kind of pathway and those who are in danger of the storm surge? Yeah, look, here in Tallahassee, storm surge is not the issue because we are further inland. Wind is the real factor here in Tallahassee. But we spent most of our day, Ashley, down over a, really along the Gulf here in the Big Bend area, some of those small coastal cities where people are under mandatory evacuations, told to pack up their homes and their cars and move further inland to ride out the storm because they are anticipating potentially 15 to 20 feet of storm surge. These are powerful waves that have the potential to pick homes off of their foundation and push them several blocks away. Officials have said this kind of storm surge is unsurvivable. So people have been told to pack up and leave. And I'll tell you, for the most part, people I talked to were heeding those warnings. They were packing up and moving further inland. I spoke to one guy who told me he's a Florida man. He has lived through several hurricanes, but he said this one is especially concerning for him because of the potential for a direct hit in Florida's Big Bend area. All right, Brooke, keep us um, up to date, if you will, please. I want to just head over to our other correspondent here at News Nation, Xavier Walton. He's a, uh, live for us in Perry, Florida. So set the scene. Xavier, where are you exactly uh, for those across the nation who don't know where Perry, Florida is, especially in relation to the path of this storm. Hey, Ashley, so we're actually on the dirty side of this storm. So we're getting a lot of winds and a lot of rain right now. Um, just right before we came on with you, as you were talking to Brooke, there was a loud bang. That was a transformer blowing. We've been hearing them really uh, for the last several hours. And this is where we get that, that little lull, so to speak. Um, come with me just a little bit this way, Kenny. And we're trying to seek shelter. Uh, Kenny is going to Come, come this way just a little bit, and he's going to get right behind our truck here. And you could float. Go ahead. So this is where we are hiding behind. Um, but the winds, and this is the, the, the wild part about this, Ashley, this is nothing. It's only going to get worse from here. And that's what's scary about this storm, right? And that's why local law enforcement will tell people, do not go out if you don't have to. I'm going to duck back under the truck again. Just so I could talk to you, earlier today, we were up there at Cedar Key. They were expecting 10 to 15 foot storm surge. Uh, we were also in Steenhatchee. That was part of our trek. They are expecting up to 20 foot storm surge, possibly. I mean, I was talking to some people who said that they simply did not want to leave their homes. And this is the sort of stuff they're dealing with. We're here in Perry tonight because we didn't want to get caught along the coastline where potentially we would get flooded because that's the real danger when you think about how much water is going to be pumping in uh, from, from this hurricane, Ashley. Thanks for watching.
Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.